Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is grounded, down to earth. Um, this is someone who's easy to respect and someone who's very wise, intuitive, knowledgeable. Um, so someone is really thinking very highly of you with this card. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Sun, Leo energy. We have the Eight of Wands, Fire energy. And we have the High Priestess, Pisces energy. Yeah, someone, you've got someone's attention here. Someone really likes you. You know, with the Sun card, um, there's an energy of them singing your praises. This person, they, they speak highly of you. They admire you a lot. And um, this is someone who is excited to be with you. This is someone who, like, they look forward to speaking with you you know speaking with you lights up their day um because we also have the card of eight the eight of wands the card of communication so you may be hearing from this person you guys may be hitting it all back and forth communication and this person is so excited to have attracted someone like you into their life um they do feel like you guys have something like a special connection they're seeing you as someone who it's like you're very down to earth and grounded, but they feel like you have like a connection to the spiritual realm, like you are intuitive or you're magical. There's something otherworldly about you and it really intrigues this person. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. So we have the Four of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is treasuring this. So they really do value the connection they share with you. Um, this person sees you as like someone they don't want to let go of, they don't want to lose. There's a bit of a possessive energy here as well with the Four of Pentacles, but they feel like they've struck gold with you. Like this person they they see you as so like you've got a lot of reason to have a big head or a big ego but you don't you know they see you as someone who you know you could hype yourself up more but you're still somehow grounded and down to earth and so you know enlightened and they, they think this is really cool about you so let's see we have the six of cups water energy the nine of cups water energy and we have the knight of swords air energy so this person is very sure that you are the one they want with the nine of cups you are a wish fulfillment to them like you're their ideal person and they they really are happy with you um with the six of cups they feel like again they feel like there's a spiritual aspect to your connection like you guys could be um like this person may have felt like they dreamt about you before they met you. You know, there's something otherworldly about their connection to you. They, they, they genuinely feel like God sent you them, you know. And with the Six of Cups, there could be a past life connection here. There's this feeling of familiarity, this instant feeling of uh, connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. So we have don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo okay so you're, you're definitely you know really the main attraction you stand out in this person's eyes
have here codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, we have nobility and self-esteem. There is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow men. True nobility lies in being superior to your former self. Okay, so this could be someone who, um, there's definitely this feeling of history. It could be that there's that past life connection or if this is someone you have history with, they, there's this feeling of not wanting to lose you, you know, really seeing you as very valuable. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep. To rejuvenate your mind, body and spirit. Okay, so... That's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.